Hey guys, Sandbrix, and guys, before the video starts, we're actually going to be doing a giveaway, guys, uh, when we reach 3,000 subscribers, and the thing we're going to be giving away is actually going to be something really, really cool, and that's, of course, going to be the Godzilla Playmates um, Gorosaurus, and this figure, guys, is really rare to find right now of time of this recording. So far, I only found once and, of course, one target. And that's of course pretty insane. I've been trying to look for this figure for a while. Finally found one and I'm actually going to give it away. I'm actually going to do that when we reach 3,000 subscribers. And that's of course something a pretty really cool giveaway. Most likely some of you will like. Um, but we don't know other stuff we might do later on in the future. But that's so far I have an idea right there. We're going to do a giveaway for the Gorosaurus. So when we reach 3,000 of course we're going to be giving it away. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Bye. Hey guys, Sandbricks, and guys, today we're talking about the new Darth Vader Mythos statue. And this is, of course, going to be a one-fifth scale statue right here at Sideshow. And wow, this thing right here looks incredible. I have to talk about it, um, so hopefully this video is not too long. But I do got to say, um, this thing is pretty pricey as, of course, around $630 to $650 for the exclusive. Um, the price, I don't know. It's just a little bit annoying because they also have a one-fourth scale, and that one is $650 also but I would say this one right here looks better it's just the thing is that one's one fourth and this one right here is one fifth so that's the one thing right there super annoying but for this one i most likely am gonna get it i'm probably just gonna order it like right now or probably later on right now when i actually get more money but i'm definitely gonna order this piece this piece looks amazing but for right now we're gonna be talking about of course is the exclusive and then of course we probably go a little bit back and forth on the the regular one but this is of course the exclusive 650 dollars releasing um actually 2023 the first of course month and of course through march of 2023 so it's actually not that far off it's most likely i'm like around a year um i kind of got scared because when i saw 2023 i was like are you kidding me we gotta wait two years but no it's just like the first month so it's gonna be too far off but minus that here's of course the pictures of the statue and look at that that looks amazing um the thing is the flame saber right there looks pretty cool it's something different it's of course a, like an own thing it's not based on anything it's just like it's a random thing of star wars and i think that looks really cool uh for of course that people like that and if you don't like that you can just switch it back to the normal one and for the exclusive you're going to be getting that and of course another portrait and you can see all the three portraits right here uh portraits hopefully i said that right actually um but here's all three of them and i gotta say all three of them look amazing the first one right here looks incredible you see the red eyes you see the battle damage really cool the second one right here you can see anakin with his red eyes all burn up and it looks incredible i love that portrait so much right there it looks really cool and the exclusive right here is also amazing this right here i wanted this to come with the one four scale but instead it comes with the mythos one and i think that's still pretty cool and i'm super happy with it and that's of course the scratch right there i don't know if it's supposed to be based on it i'm pretty sure it is but i'm pretty sure it's based on the rebels when of course ahsoka of course scratched it and of course did that damage right there looks really really cool and of course you can see Darth Vader here with all the battle damage the detail on him is insane you can see of course battle damage on his armor you see his skin tone everything looks battle damage it looks really cool I love mythos because of their detail and it's actually really insane with their detail and another detail I really we don't really see too much on of course Darth Vader is that we get to see his legs and of course the metal legs and they look incredible we never really see that and it looks really cool so I'm really glad it of course gave that detail right there it looks really nice the other detail right here is of course the cape the cape looks amazing so glad it's sculpted um I do like of course uh, fabric cape it's just sometimes on statues it looks really good when it's of course sculpted and it looks really nice special in the mythos line look right there that shot looks incredible so for sure this statue right here is amazing um i think all the of course um accessories and everything is really nice the base i want to say that's an x-wing i could be wrong but so far from seeing the pictures and um my idea of an x-wing that looks like an x-wing right there um the size right here of course it shows the size um 24.75 that's actually a pretty decent size for especially one fifth because I think the um, the one four scale is like around twenty five inches, and the reason why this one's taller because it's of course the cape. That's why also. But for sure, this statue right here is amazing. I can't wait to get it. And right there, the other picture I just saw right now looks incredible. Like I was saying, I might get this statue for sure. It looks way too cool to pass up. Um, the thing is, I'm actually kind of scared that. This might sell out, but to be honest, usually these, of course, sideshow pieces never really sell out because 
they make a lot, especially these Star Wars ones. I think they made a Saz Ventures, like around like 4,000 of them. I think around 4,500 for Maul. And they're still available and everything. So I think um, it should not sell out, hopefully. But yeah, that's of course the exclusive. The regular one here does come with the portraits. The only thing it does not come with is the battle damage helmet, of course, of the scratch. And it does not come with the flame saber. So, of course, you're just a fan of the regular, um, of course, like face like this. And, of course, the normal standard. You can just get this one right here. But for me, I'm definitely going to get the exclusive because I also love that portrait. Um, the only thing I did wish it came with was maybe some extra, um, like, little stands for the heads. Because it still would have been really cool to display these, of course, on the side. It still would have been really cool. But uh, that's, of course, a little thing. I know usually Prime 1 does that, but not other companies. But that would have been really cool if it came with something like that. But that's, of course, the statue right here. That's, of course, my thoughts. Let me know down below your thoughts. And, yeah, that's, of course, for today's video, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.